So today is day 19 of 44 radio shows about transforming grief. Oh, I just see. Congrats. This is your 50th broadcast? Really? Wow, that seems hard to believe. But okay, Facebook. Um, <laughs> all right. So the, the uh, radio show of the day six years ago was listening to your true voice with Cheryl Lynn and Cheryl and I had a conversation around the feelings that happen with all of the things that are going on in our lives so some of the things and I just wrote some of these down so I'd be really lasered with them some of the things that she shared on the show being in the experience with whatever's happening with you feeling all of the feelings, knowing that everything contains light and dark, that you're not trying to get rid of the dark. It's actually about feeling that richness of everything that's happening. And then she talked a lot about staying true to your voice during times of chaos, during times where there were challenges, like staying in the moment of what is happening there. Um, we talked about uh, a, a number of things, but Cheryl had an experience where she had was getting married for the second time and she and her husband both were laid off around the same time. They were living in Massachusetts and they had an opportunity to move to Arizona. And so there was this um, new adventure on the horizon and around the same time several people had uh, physical things going on in their lives and she shared some of the different things that were happening and then her son was um, diagnosed with mental illness and she talked about that all the things that she learned in that experience of not trying to control the universe, but actually to be in the experience. And she shared um, an experience of talking with his higher self, like connecting her higher self to his higher self for a conversation at that level, at that multi-dimensional space is the way that I would describe it. And so when you have an experience where you've lost a loved one or or you're in I'm just gonna say it that maybe you have conflict with someone and you haven't you don't really have a way to have a conversation with them or maybe there you'll have a, a place to have a conversation with them at some point but right now that's not the best choice for you that you can go into this space of asking to connect first with your higher self, with a, a self that is greater than who you are, and to ask to have a conversation with the person. And you might even invite it into your dream time with someone. So I'm going to post the link to the radio show in the description here. And I really encourage you to lis listen to the show. It was honest, real, and connected with living life on the planet. Connected to your true voice. All right. Day 19 of 44 radio shows on transforming grief. See you tomorrow.